Urbanite Theater in Sarasota is a part of the contemporary Suncoast diverse live theater landscape. Urbanite's latest show is a wild one-woman experience entitled Bonita. One actress, one, plays seven different characters, and that actress is Terry Wiegett. She is here with us now. Did I say your name right? You I've been it. sitting here saying Wiegett, 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 Wiegett. <laughs> yeah, perfect. I perfect. will be saying that the rest of the day. <laughs> so tell us about Bonita. Uh, Bonita is a really beautiful one-woman show written by Elizabeth Heffron, and it centers around a 13-year-old girl named Bonita, and she's kind of at a crossroads in her life, and uh, she uh, recounts... Uh, the first time that she's ever seen a miracle happen and she kind of tells the story of her life through these tangents that kind of go off of the story and all of the beautiful colorful characters that have uh, taken her to the place that she is now. Oh, wow. And you play yeah. all seven All seven characters. of them, yeah. And you change character on stage? Yep. Don't what, change the what costume. What goes into but doing that? It's a lot of vocal and physical changes, and this show is uh, different from other one-woman shows I've done, which is you have monologues, and you just kind of say them out as if you're talking to a character. These ones actually talk to each other. So there's oh, dialogue kind of flipping that. back and forth. <laughs> I do that it's like, well, it's like the voices in your head. Exactly. Yeah, they are. Yeah. 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 Well, and you painted this lovely picture of Bonita, but I did a little reading about her. She comes from one messed up family. Um, she's I mean, seen things that uh, yeah, tell most us about of us some of those things. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, she's dealing with issues of uh, abuse. She's dealing with uh, a mother who is kind of in and out of relationships. So there are men kind of coming into and out of her life. Uh, and they're not from a particularly well-off socioeconomic background, mm -hmm. um, but she deals with it with such humor, so it allows us to kind of go, oh, she's going to be okay mm -hmm. because of her outlook on it, and she's too young to actually cast judgment on these other characters in our life. She just sees them for who they are, and all of them are deeply flawed, but also have something that you can love about them, too. Oh, so wow. they're deeply That's flawed. Nice. Yeah. So will we find our own family members Oh, together? I am sure. <laughs> can we Some of them are based this? on people that I definitely know in my life. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, you may see some of them right here. <laughs> I think, no, I think. Not, not maybe. quite. Maybe. 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 <laughs> but daytime. So <laughs> you've done several one-woman yeah, shows I have. then. Yeah, I have. What's the trick? The what trick, makes it work? I, it changes every time. The thing that I love about doing a one-woman show, I also used to work for a Shakespeare company where you're doing these big shows with big casts, but there's what they call the fourth wall, which is the separation mm -hmm. of yourself with the audience. Mm -hmm. But uh, with one-woman shows, you get to dance with the audience. They're your scene partner. And so it's asking a lot of an audience to say, okay, you're on the right. I'm looking in your face and talking to you. Well, do you have to do something different to make sure they know you're into the next character? Yeah, it's a, and that's when it gets kind of very technical. Mm -hmm. So it's physical and vocal. What about mental, though? Because I know mm -hmm. when you portray a character, mm -hmm. you are literally putting yourself into their being. How do you switch beings yeah. like that? It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's multi personality. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I <thought that>. exactly. <laughs> Don't we all I, have them? Uh, uh, all the time. And yeah. sometimes I, I have to sit backstage and go, okay, what are we doing? No, here we go. Calm down. You're jumping into this character right. here. Yeah. It's um, it's a, it's a dance, and as, you as can't a, get thirteen's not hard enough. <laughs> well, and I don't know if you've noticed, I'm not. So, <laughs> but if you can figure them out, it was easier to do the interview on the radio because I was like, okay, they can't see that I'm not. But uh, when you go into the theater, it's very obvious. But uh, Elizabeth Heffron, the playwright, she wrote in the description of Bonita. She's a scrappy, matter-of-fact girl who is meant to be played by an adult woman who can uh, uh, touch to the vulnerability of a 13-year-old mm -hmm. as opposed to playing her exact age. Mm -hmm. um, and you can kind of see where she might head to. Well, uh, people like the play because it was extended. Yes, yes till yes. May 7th. You've got to be good, girl. Oh, You've got to have a lot of fun. It's <laughs> at the Urbanite Theater. You can find more ticket information if you go to their website. And next, she was going to tell us about her latest book. We love the one we read. We can't wait to see this one. Thank you.